All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the very first Platoon 3 video on the channel. This is the very first Platoon stream on this channel at twitch.tv slash xjdbaku15. If you're watching this ahead of time or in the future on YouTube, hi. Um, we're here for Splatoon 3, guys. All my boys are already playing it. I've been seeing gameplay all of it already. I finally got my copy today. And I'm ready to jump right into it, so let's get right into it, alright? I got washed up, I'm dressed up in my Tim the Tapman OG Classic Gamer jersey from 2018-2019, uh, back when he was still on Twitch. Shout out to Tapman Army, XJD Baku 15 you guys already know. I'm in my gamer jersey because I'm here for business all right i'm even wearing my chain with my amethyst and my event shrine to give me extra power all right if you guys don't believe me or don't see me this is what i'm talking about we got the chain the amethyst and the event shrine to give me extra energy the tim the tapman classic og jersey Back in the he was still on Twitch. Shout out to the Tatman Army. I'm still part of it. And of course, the XJD Baku 15 Gamer Tag Gamer Jersey. Alright, you can kind of barely see it because the camera's being cringe, but it's there. Which means I am total serious mode, alright? 15. It's kind of backwards, but it's there. There it is. HD Baku 15. That's how you know I'm serious right now. It's Platoon 3, okay? And if that wasn't enough, I even got my brand new controller because we are serious, alright? The Splatoon 3 Pro Controller. I got this at GameStop with the game, and the homies hooked me up with the one year protection in case Nintendo wanted to be on that bullshit, all right? Because I'm serious, all right? So with that being said, I'm excited to dive right into this, baby. Let's get right into it, see what we got going on here. That's Splatoon 3. I'm gonna download some software, hope this won't take too long, and then uh, we're gonna get into that gameplay. I'm ready. Splatoon 2 save data found. You can import if you want. 25, level 25 hours. Um, I guess it's giving me a choice. I don't know if I want to start fresh or import Splatoon 2 save data. Import save data and unlock the following bonuses. You get three golden, sh gold Sheldon licenses that you can redeem for weapons. You can begin playing in Anarchy Battles earlier than usual. You waste points close to your skill level right away. I should have asked my boys if they imported it or not because I don't know if all my boys imported it or not or not. Like I feel like some of them did, but I don't know if all of them did. I, I don't. I do want the golden Sheldon licenses, but I kind of just want to grind as well. What do you guys think? Should I just start from the beginning? I kind of feel like I can. I can just like, if I wanted to, I could format my file and then import if I really felt like it. <laughs> so I think honestly, we're gonna um. We're gonna start from the bottom. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start from the bottom. Why, why jump ahead, you know? What's the rush? What's the rush, you know? Let's just, let's have fun and play, you know? Uh, Splatfest region settings. Splatfest are special events where players are split into three teams to battle out. Each region has its own Splatfest, including content and event times. Please choose which region Splatfest you like to be part of. Checking your region. Playing this region Splatfest, America's Australia, New Zealand. No, you can change this later, but if you participate in a Splatfest, you'll be unable to change the setting for a period of time. I'm okay with this. Splatfest region set to America's Australia, New Zealand. Cool feature. This controller feels so comfortable in my hands already, guys. It's crazy. I don't want this controller to ever break. Hold on. Is this the intro or is this the. What is this? 
I've never played the story in any Splatoon game, but like, this could be the one. Select a style. Alright, we got Inkling and Octoling. I think it'll be an Octoling. Um, which one is the girl Octoling? Are they all Octoling's girls? That's a boy. No, that's a girl. That's a boy. Is that a girl? Is this a boy? I think this is the girl. I guess we'll go with this one. Skin tone. We'll go with that one. Let's see those eyes, baby. We want blue eyes, green eyes, yellow, orange, red, purple. I like purple. Purple is my favorite color. White? Black? Interesting. Ooh, that looks cool. We got some cool looking eyes now. That was cool. That looks really cool. I kind of like that one. I, I, I kind of want to go with those because like, these ones are nice. I don't think you can change these ever. You might be able to, but I don't know if you can. I kind of like these ones. I kind of like this one too. I go with this one. Make the cut. Alright, what's my haircut look like? We got this one, that one, the fucking pompadour. I could be a girl view skater meshy. That's cool. Let's see. Or the afro. Can you change the haircut later? I'm sure you can. I kind of like like these all the girl ones. Let's see. Do I want, like this one? I kind of like this one. This is like the this is the regular one, isn't it? That one actually is pretty cool too. Do I be do I want to be a delinquent? Am I gonna be a delinquent? I'm really indecisive right now. These look. Cool. They look almost too similar though. This one looks similar to this one. I think I like this one and this one. This is the normal one though. But this one looks kind of simple. I wish I could kind of rotate around and see what it looked like. I kind of hope you can change these. I'll go with this one, I think, and hopefully I can change them later. How about the brows? You got that one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, we have the little line in between, I guess. Last thing, leg wear. What do we got for leg wear? So we got short shorts, pants, looks like kind of baggy pants, actual shorts, actual jeans. Is that a, a little skirt, I guess? More shorts, baggy shorts, shorts and legs. Why does that have three? Why does this have three things? What is that? What does the three? What the three buttons mean? Looks like there's three different things there. Um, I don't really know what I want. Um, I wish I wasn't wearing this ugly shirt so I can kind of imagine what I would look like with any other piece of clothing. I don't really like the pants. I'm not a fan of a lot of these pants features, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. But I wanna go with the shorts, 
or the pants, basically, because I'm not really like these look okay, but I don't know about them. I don't really like these. These look like they would be okay, but I don't really know what kind of pants or skirt that is. The shorts look okay. Oh, these have little buns on them. Is that what those are? I kind of like these, I guess. I think I'll go with these. Am I okay with this? Can I change this ever? I don't think I like those. I don't think I like those um, over the, the my other things. I think I'll just go with this. Oh, we can choose. So there's multiple of these, but not multiple of anything else. We got ripped pants. I never wear ripped pants at IRL, so would I let my my online avatar inkling wear ripped pants? I don't know if I would let her wear ripped pants at IRL. Because I don't wear ripped pants myself. Why is this the only one with fucking options? What happened? Why did we... Why did we, Why is this the only one with options? So that's the last thing you can do. So let's see. Um... I still don't know if these are like... Boys or girls. Like, I know that's a boy. That's the girl. I can't tell which one of these. I guess it really doesn't matter because his face doesn't really change. Except for his hair. I still really can't tell which one of these are boys and which one of these are girls. I think this is the girl one. I'm going with this color. I like these eyes. Hold on, let me see if it's any different for like, different hairstyles for other characters. Is it different hairstyles for other characters? Probably not, it doesn't look like it is. What's the difference between Inkling and Octoling, anyways? Oh, that's the wrong color. Is that still the wrong color? What color was I before? I think it was this one? Oh, see, now they have different hair colors. So, so I mean, hairstyles. So, Inklings have these hairstyles. These are all cool, I guess. I think I still want to be an Octoling, though. That's cool. That's really cool. Inklings have, bit, have more hairstyles than Octolings. What the heck, fucking Nintendo? Inklings in general have more hairstyles than Octolings, Nintendo. Did you guys forget to make more for Octolings? Was I going with this one? I don't think I was supposed to be that light. I think I'm going with this one, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. There's like so many less hairstyles for Octolings, dude. What the heck, Nintendo? Like, there's some cool ones, but not a lot. Do I like this one, this one, or this one? I do like this one, but it's the first option, so I don't know if I should go with that one. I like this one, and I like this one. I think I won't go with this one. I'll go with that one. Brows. Now I can see her whole face. She's not wearing that stupid shawl over her thick body. I, I can kind of see her. I don't think I like these eyebrows that much, so I think I'll just go with the regular ones. They don't really have a lot of cool eyebrow ideas. Now that she's standing up straight, I can kind of see what she's wearing, too. Okay, um, I meant that this is the only one with multiple options, like, what the, what's the deal, Nintendo? I don't know if I want to wear red pants, though. I, I would never personally let my daughter wear red pants. I don't think I would let this inkling wear red pants either. Because she is basically my daughter, and that's why I'm dressing her up so meticulously. I guess I'll just go with the long pants. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh, I can customize you too, seriously? Oh god, here. Choose the look. What do we got? We got regular, a little mohawk, spiky. I kind of like that one. Okay, okay, okay. Am I going with this one? I guess I'll go with this one. Yeah, we're good. Don't need to think about it any longer. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Think you're fresh? Start splatting and we'll see. Before you hit the crater, we'll hit you with the basics. Aim for your little small fire buddy, hit the controller to move your reticle. Face forward for the clearest view. Press Y to return. Follow that small fire, move with L. Where the hell am I? I was just hanging out here next to a fucking pile of junk, I guess. Uh, 
press Z or enter squid swim form. That's how you swim through ink. What do you find, little buddy? Is that Splattershot Jr.? Did everybody start as yellow? Press ZR to blast those balloons with ink. I mean, I have squid shirts, but not a squid roll, which is interesting. But we'll figure out how to squid roll as we play the game. Assuming that's like a secret technique. So, what are we doing in the middle of the desert? Void of all, like, hydration. I know we're not fans of water, but, like, still. I don't know anything about like Splatoon's story or anything, I never really played the games for the story. Like, the first one I played super casually, only turf war. The second one I played mostly ranked mode, and this one I want to do everything, but I don't know the story at all, so what's going on here? Are we in Splatsville at last? There's a new kid in town. It's Splat 3, baby. Alright, Nintendo. Let's see what we've got. Alright, it's time for the news. And there's my queen. My matriarch. My goddess, Shiver. And then there's the other two. Alright. What do you guys got for me today? I wish you could just auto go through this. I know you can like kind of skip it now, but like I wish you can just kind of just go through it. All right, so what are the current battle stages for our first day playing? Ooh. It's Turf War, Undertown Spillway, and Wahoo World, and then for ranked, of course, as soon as I log on is Clam Blitz. That's the one mode I never done in Tune Two ever, and then it's also Splat Zones for the open. That's fine. Oh, that's a battle at the second... At the last second was one year, two days, six hours, nine seconds ago. Oh my goodness, Shiver, you remember that. I at least don't think about it all the time, right? I mean, she might not. I don't know. Because <laughs> it was one year, two hours, six, seconds, and nine, six hours, and nine seconds ago. <laughs> she definitely remembers everything. If you know anyone who's looking for teachers, send it to me. I know everything. I or they could, and I'm just spitballing here, read the employee handbook. Breaking news hot off the press. Oh, we got some big man, let's hear it. Uh, this is my story to break. The breach that fish is gone. Again? Is this the story for all of them? It's basically powers the whole city. We need it back soon or it's lights out. Time to conserve. Turn out the lights and set the temp for a cool 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh boy. And that's 32 degrees Celsius, and it's not cool. Cause if you find the Zapfish. I'm pretty sure the Zapfish was kidnapped in the last two games as well. I, but I don't know the story, so you guys let me know. And that's it for now. Alright, let's get out of here. For Spatsville, that's a wrap. Catch you later. See you later, Shiver. Alright. 
Welcome to Splatsville. This is the place to see be seen. The hottest spot on the map. If you want to make it in this town, you gotta be your freshest. And how do you show off your extremely fresh self? Online battles. Just hit the lobby. Seriously, you start making ways and battles. Everyone around here will know your name. Wait, what? You're new here. I didn't mean to alarm you, but that dude is seriously scoping from the sewer. Whatever, it's fishy. We'll get to that later. So where were we? Oh right, battles. Trying to sink them with the ink. We want to get right into it. Check out the lobby or follow that weird down the sewer. It's up to you. Go get him. Full splat ahead. All right, I fuck with it. So here we are, level one. We are totally fresh, and fucking, we are just gonna start this whole game anew. Very excited. So what do we got in terms of menus? We got the crater. I think that's the story mode. We got the shoal. I don't really know what the shoal is. And we got Grisco, which I'm pretty sure is uh, what you call it. Um, Salmon Run. I plan on doing all these. The all these. All right. I I know in the first game I kind of ignored. You know everything, or the second game I ignored everything aside from rank mode or turf war. But um, this one I, I intend to do everything. So let's see what we've got in terms of weapons. What's going on with Sheldon? <laughs> Hello. Oh my, is that truly the only weapon in your possession? I'd love to talk your tentacles off about the stuff I haven't stopped. I'm not sure you can handle the sheer firepower at lowly level one. Listen, they got a plan. It'll work. Go to the lobby and play some regular battles. Get to, let's say, level two, then me, then come back and see me. Interesting. So I gotta grind up, huh? That's okay. Like I said, I chose not to start, you know, super far ahead. Oh, hey, what's up, gnarly Eddie? Um, this is kind of awkward, but I'm not sure you're fresh enough to shop here yet. I think you need to be at least level four. Oh, right, man, I gotta grind before I can even buy stuff. Maybe go to the lobby and try a few turf war battles. I hear those can help with the freshness. Get to it! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like, you know, as a new young kid in town, you know, they're, they're kind of throwing some shade at me. That's okay, I thrive off of animosity. Ah, you are here, good. Or not, tell me. Can one below level 4 not see one's own level? The audacity of shopping at such a low level. Please visit the lobby and partake in me turf war battles before you turn. I require it. See, we can't even like, we can't even dress up and shit, man. We can't even dress up and shit, man. We're fucking, we're just too scrubby. I could have been star level 25, you guys saw. Come in, come in, welcome to the crush Oh, you're not looking so fresh, is everything okay? Listen, we're gonna get, th get through this. Here's how, go to the lobby, get some turbo battles, crush them, get that level up. Come back when you hit level four, and we'll move forward together. And freshness, friendo, haha. -ha. Alright, so they're definitely trying to make me grind up real fast. Do I even have any, like, clothes to, like, have equipped in the first place and, like, actually get, like, skills rolled on me? Harmony. Oh, hey, welcome to Hotland. Wait, I take it back. Not yet. You have to be level 4 to shop here. I'll make the rules. Just go to the lobby and do a few turbo battles or whatever, okay? Okay. Alright, so I guess we gotta do some turbo battles, huh? So, what do you got in terms of gear? We got Cephalo Pods with Ink Recovery up. I assume this is the same for everybody. We got Tri Shred T, which I want to replace because it's fucking all worn and old and ugly. And we got the Splatter Shot Junior with what? What is this on? How do you see your, uh. How do you rotate it? Alright, here we go. Low range, low damage, and high fire rate. Splatter Bomb and Big Bumbler. Okay. Other. Sensitivity. How do I want a sensitivity to be? Motion control. I think I want to be pretty sensitive, so we'll put it to two for now. Right stick is going to be at two. We'll see how that feels. This is going to stay like that because I don't like it being inverted. And almost fine. Okay, cool. We can change our hairstyle, which is definitely what I want to know. Can't change our skin color, we can change our hairstyle. That's all that matters. All right, cool. I definitely wanted to see that we can do that. All right, emotes. Flip out. This is the only one I have. Oh, we can get more later. I definitely want to try more emotes. All right, let's see. Stages, regular, anarchy, salmon run, gone fish, hydro plant. I want to play with salmon run, hopefully with the boys. Status, gear. Splat dandy and youth player. What's your earn badge? You can use them to customize your splash tag. I need to get more titles. Okay. Here you can send pictures you've taken in game order to Splatnet 3. I'm probably never going to use this feature because I don't fucking use Splatnet 3. Catalog. Abilities. Alright, so these are all the abilities and shit. 
So I heard they took out main power up. I wonder what that means for like abilities like in terms of like, getting more range. Special saver, special power up, quick response, comeback, tenacity, last just effort, opening gambit, boost your speed while moving for the first 30 seconds, intensify action makes squid rolls and squid surges easier to do, and stays your aim when firing after jumping, sub resistance up, reduce effects and damage from some weapons, ink resistance up, reduce damage taken from and improves mobility walking through enemy ink, quick super jump, ninja squid, haunt, thermal ink, respawn punisher, ability doubler, stealth jump. So a lot of these abilities are like kind of the same from Splatoon 2. Which is interesting. There might be one new one. Where was it? It was fucking um, the Squid Surge one, I think. Oh yeah, Intensify Action. You can have multiple of those, I guess. I wonder what make what what would help by having multiple uh, of these equipped. What would that do? Well, yeah, a lot of these abilities are, are the same for Splat 2, which is interesting because you would think that there would be more. Table turret Frank. I can't, haven't even done that yet. Um, oh, that's the camera. My bad. Options, color lock, lock ink colors to make things easier to see. What does that mean? Lock ink colors. Lock ink colors to make things easier to see. I don't know what that means. I'll maybe try that one day. Display user generated content. Uh, post display. I'll turn that off for now. I don't want to always see that all the time. Uh, lobby notifications. Send notifications about your play stats to your friends. Player settings. Want to change up your look or small prize look? You won't lose any of your gear or cash. Oh, this is just the fucking, uh, change up what we looked like before. Is this the fucking... We're back here? Jesus Christ. Okay, so why was there a whole... Why are there a whole two menus for this exact feature? There are two menus for this exact feature. That's interesting and weird at the same time. Because you can already do this in one of the menus I literally just looked at, and now you can do this again. So I get, I mean, you can't change your skin color, you just have to go through this whole process again. So if you guys want to change your skin color, this is where you do it. I think we're still gonna go with this one. You can change it whenever you feel like it, I guess. That's nice. Now what? Are you gonna make me do the fucking tutorial again? Why was that in two different areas? I don't understand why that was in two, like... That was here, in player settings, and then again, where? On the equip screen? On style? Like, why Why? Why is that two, like... Why, was that, why is that two areas? That's so strange to me. Like, why would they do that? I'm looking through all the menus because I like to do that, okay? Alright, so with that being said, I guess we're good to go now. I don't think I can do anything else. Hopefully our Mari settings are good. We should be straight now. Let's go to a lobby. Let's get our splat on, guys. Welcome to the lobby. It's your portal to online battles and where you stash all your gear. As you splat forth in online battles, you'll level up and earn cash to boot. Why low level get cash so you can access and afford the precious gear in Splatsville. And some battle modes are sure to place at the higher level too, so get that level up. First things first, why don't you check out the battle pot over there? It's that regular battle. That'll get you into a turf war battle. Your team will have three minutes to ink the most turf. And let's chat more Splat. Let's get started. This goes for any guidelines applied to online play it can be found to our website. These can be considered to your fellow players. If you play online, your nickname and player data may, may be made public. Okay. I was already informed before that um, they have um, Splatoon 1 music in this game, which is cool, or at least in this lobby, which I think is cool. Turn on copy machine, you know, what does this mean? Oh, this, is that what that is? Just fucking, uh, probably just cleans the turf. That's cool. What, I don't even know why this is an option, why does it matter? Turn on copy machine? Was the copy machine? What's this? Step right up. You can try your luck at Shell Up Machine. Your first please cost five thousand, and it's a cool three thousand for each play after that. Try your luck with Shell Up Machine. I don't know what that is. Like I'll try that with the grind some gear, some gold. Oh, is this the copy machine?
Okay. I wonder how long the big bubble lasts. What's this? Oh, nothing? Okay. That's cool. No, we can't ink up the stairs. Is this where you get our drinks and stuff? A little barista. Some pinball. Got the music playing. Can you jump over there? No. That's cool. Got a cool little uh, thing going on here. Oh, is that the cat? His name is Judd, right? Meow. Meow, your style is as fresh as an old litter box. Go play some turf war in the battle pot. Meow. Oh, once you load up a bit, don't forget to visit Ammo Nice in the square. I won't forget. What's who are you? Grab a bite. Well, hello there, welcome. This is your first time here, isn't it? How splendid. I do hope you become a regular here at Crab and Go. I don't mean the bowl spar. If he doesn't fill up your belly, it doesn't just fill up your belly. It can help fill your spring bar or even your wall when you grab a snack before battle. Oh, I meant grab. <laughs> just one last thing before we order, dearie. We don't accept cash here. I'm afraid we'll need tickets here. There. With all I said, what can I get you today? Alright, crab trap sandwich, increase battle cash by 50, doubles battle cash, increase battle EXP, speed, okay, doubles battle cash for all teammates. Okay, that's cool. Why does this look really good for no reason? Crab trap sandwich, commercial crab trap sandwich, the pescatariat, the pescatariat, pescatariat royale, mega mound, a la marigold, marigold and garden greens. Like, why does this all look delicious? We got drinks too, mega main pucker up. Main, 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 mega pucker up. Game more ex gear will gain exp more quickly and is more likely to reach a specific ability when it levels up. Okay, so this is where all this is. So I gotta like kind of use these if I wanna um when, when I'm grinding specific gear. I really wanna know like how um like I understand that there's no main power up in this game, but I definitely wanna know like how um. How making your gear like any stronger or better works, you know? I know one thing's for sure, I need to freaking get better gear so that I can not use the splatter shot. I never use splatter shot. One thing I want to do with this channel though, and the content though, is that I want to try every gun at least a couple times and stuff so that I can, um, so that I can, um, you know, just learn every gun, basically. Man, this lasts for a long time, damn. I was done with it already. Oh man, he threw out the Trizuka on me. That um bubble big bubble lasts for a while. This map is huge. Holy crap. We didn't even see this part of the map yet, dude.
Damn it. What's my team doing? Jesus Christ, guys. Like, I'm only using a poor little splatter shot. I have a poor little spider shot, and you guys. <laughs> Not even ink and turf. That's fun. Number one overall splatter, number one turf inker, and puck or target, dude. What are you guys doing? Why am I getting all the number one stuff? You guys should be... You know? <laughs> Views, that was, that was what battles are like. Hey, do you happen to notice how some of your opponents had cool-looking name displays? Those are called splash tags, and they're fully customized to your personality. Wait, you have anything instead of a nickname for your splash tag yet? You gotta show up in style in your next battle. Hit the lobby terminal to set a nickname, okay? What do you want to call yourself? You can change this later. XJ Baku 15 is fine. Doug Bright, remember that you don't see your nickname. It's fine. Change the nickname that violates Nintendo's community guidelines. I'll never do that. It's fine. Nickname registered. You also receive an ID beginning with a hashtag. If you change your nickname, the ID will also change. When you got a splash, splash tag, it's time to get out there and make, and make it famous. That's what I pretend to do. What else can I do here? Guest stuff? There are no items to pick up. View replays battle logs. Undertale spillway. See, I inked the most turf. And no one, no, no one was gonna kill my side either. Oh my god, people are so cringe, dude. It's every single time. Every time I play this game. Uh, 16 player did character code, splat rest fusion, change nickname, edit splash tag. I can't do this yet. Alright, that's cool. That's where I can do that. Alright, let's keep going. Gotta grind up our gear, man. guy has the Cybernaut outfit. That's cool. Kill him before he spider me. I'll shoot him inside of my um my big bubble. So, hola, how are you doing? Como esta?
How are you doing tonight, Axel? Hope you're doing alright, man. <clears throat> Are you playing Splatoon 3 as well? Alright, good job, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We win that one. Hope everyone's doing alright tonight. Good job, guys. No one turf inker, no one pops the target, no one base enemy base inker, that's always me. You know it's him. That's always gonna be me, dude. Alright, did we get any gear levels ups? What do we got? What do we got? What slots did I get? Ink recovery double? Double ink recovery? Okay. I fuck with that. Now I think now that my gear is maxed out, every time I level up more, um, I'll just keep getting more chunks stored up, which will be good. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you get that. I got the double ink recovery up, which is definitely cool. Good job, you guys. The double ink recovery up is going to help a lot early game, that's for sure. It better not be that, oh, everybody gets double ink recovery up, bullshit, no. <laughs> I don't want to be the only guy with double ink recovery up. GG, thank you. Hope everyone has, I hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Hope we're all having a good time playing some Splatoon 3, man. Very excited. I'm having a great time with this game. I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a long time because I had to have not had a good controller. But now I have a good controller. I love this feature too. It's choosing where you want to go so that you and your team don't just all walk in the same area. I can cover a whole part of the turf by myself and stuff. inside of my freaking um, bubble or <laughs> yo I'm sorry Axel I'm not super fluent in Spanish so I'm not gonna be able to clearly clearly um, respond to you but I do appreciate your presence regardless I hope you're having a great night I'm just not super fluent in Spanish so I can't fully communicate with you. I, I apologize dearly. Oh, what? I stepped out of my bubble? a w Nerd. Yo, it's been a while. What's up? What's going on, a w Nerd? American Ninja Warrior Nerd. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing all right. You have a good summer? And it's basically September now, it's time for the school year. Hope you're doing alright, man. I need that gun. I need the just culture. I'm oh, I'm nothing without my just culture. Who has the just culture? <laughs> Whoa, my whole team's dead. I ate this whole area, guys. What are you doing? Got you. Where's my squad at? What are y'all doing? How are we all inked up or dead? 
How do we get to this sniper? We can't hit her? We can't hit her from up there? Are you serious? How do we get up there? How do we get that sniper from up there? What is that? You can kind of walk up there, I guess? I can't tell. We still won, though. No one turf inker, no one popo target, no one home base inker! That's me! I'm the carry! How am I already carrying? I just started... Uh, how many minutes ago? 46 minutes ago? I'm already carrying my entire squad? What are we doing today? I never left! Keep going. <clears throat> GG. Dude, I'm so happy you're playing this game right now, you guys don't even understand. I love Splatoon, man. I waited so long for this game because, like, I haven't been playing Splatoon 2 because, um, because, um, I just didn't have a good pro controller. So, now that Splatoon 3 is here and I got a new pro controller, I'm very happy. Alright, who we got? I need to get my Jet Squelcher. Oh, Wahoo World, nice. This is a Splatoon 2 returning. Very happy to see the stage is back, obviously. This stage is always hectic. behind me. Yeah, everything's been going well. Just started 11th grade a month ago. Nice, dude! You're almost done with high school, man. But, I, if I remember correctly, 11th grade is the hardest year. At least that's what it was for me. So, good luck with everything, and I hope you're having a great time so far. Hopefully, well, I mean, it's only been two days, but hopefully, uh, well, actually, you said a month ago. Um, hopefully, uh, it's going well so far, actually. 11th grade, though. That's the hardest year yet, but once you get through that year, it's, it's cake. At least, as far as I remember, 11th grade was the hardest for me. <laughs> that wasn't my kill, but I know I spot bomb probably helped. Dude, we are in their turf right now. Look at the map. <laughs> we are in their turf right now, dude. Oh my god, I love this game, dude. Oh, you're all dead. <laughs> what happened? Oh, got you two. Wipe out! <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, this is so hilarious. Look at the map, dude. Look at the map. That is so fun. I love this game, dude. What's been going on with you? Man, I've been chilling. 
been doing the stream grind lately. Uh, Will's also looking for work. Hopefully a couple opportunities coming up really soon, really soon. Trying to get back into traveling and stuff. I got my passport, so I'm really trying to get out there more, you know? But aside from that, I've just been chilling, taking care of my family, and uh, been doing the stream grind, man. Playing some Zelda, playing some Dragon Quest, playing some Tower Fantasy. You know how it goes. Almost at level 4, so that's good. Let's keep going. Um... Then you get one of the golden Sheldon passes so you can get your weapon as soon as you reach level 2. I could have, but I started fresh. I started at level 1. I thought about going to level 2 or whatever to get the Sheldon tickets, but I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna start at the beginning. Why jump ahead? Why rush, you know? Just have fun, you know? This game is very fluid. They were right when they said that this game was very, like... Oh, you have a lot of health. Oh, I guess he just doesn't die? Oh, it doesn't die. But yeah, um... But yeah, I, uh... I, I decided to start fresh, you know? Because, um... It just felt right, you know? New game, new me, you know? Excuse me. Oh, so this is how you get up to here. Okay. Interesting. Darn it! Splattershot has zero range for this to be happening. Like, it has so little range. Like, I, I can use it to, like, protect my friends, but that's about it. Darn it, I tried to put my, my spider, my bomb, like, right in front of him. That's fair, at least my main is at level 7. Is it, is it a long way for Jess Squelcher? Yeah, I think Jess Squelcher at level 15, I think, which is hilarious, because that's my number, you know? Stop him before he got his ultimate off. Reflux 450? I didn't know that was a gun. fucking ultimate before I could stop him or before I knew he was gonna do it. I wasn't there, I would have got the, the Call of Duty broken his legs on him. <laughs> I was broken his legs at Call of Duty, dude. Like, I remember my movement options and stuff. Like, I know how to move in this game. I know how to move in this game, so, like, it's literally just like second nature to me. It's like muscle memory, honestly. This game is great, dude. No one overall splatter, no one enemy being inker, no one enemy splatter. Dude, I'm the carry. I'm the lowest level guy here, I'm already carrying my entire, like, all, every lobby I'm in. How is that possible? Number one everything. 
Yeah, this game's awesome, dude. I'm having a great time already. Can you believe that it's the same people who made this game also make Animal Crossing? Like, what? Universe, Boshi? Oh man, all my boys are on? That's what's up. All my boys are on. Tunable Crossing, literally, dude. Like when I heard, when I learned that the same guys developed this game, I was like, really? Splatoon team makes Animal Crossing? Like, how? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh shit! I didn't see him do the reefer, and I see him do the reefer. That ultimate is kind of like the new, like, uh, splashdown. Except you move with it, basically. Me real fast. Whew. Dude, this game is so much fun. It's the rush. The rush of splatting my enemies. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> this game's the general rush I've been looking for the longest time. Am I number one everything again, dude? Is that just me? Am I just number one? Number one tink tur tinker. Number one turf inker. Obviously. Alright, let's hit level four and then we'll end this video. I need better guns, man. Once I get the jet squelchers all over for all you guys, but I ain't gonna try out other guns. I think this is a good first video for using the splatter shot. Overall impressions on the splash shot very easy very simple to use nice sub the ultimate's pretty good too It's basically made to support your teammates and stuff in ink turf ink turf support teammates. That's what the splash shot is used for Which I'm not like against at all. It's not what I like to go for in terms of like my um 
what I normally would ever, you know, make my role in a game or a match, but hey. If you're a splash out junior main and you like to help your friends and ink the turf, then this is the gun for you, that's for sure. guy. I'm finding a lot of fun with Burglar Splash Out because of Trizuka, oh yeah? But I made Ink Brush and I'm just waiting to get that word, that's what's up. I didn't want to try Trizuka, it looks like it's fun. He used his friend as bait, basically. <laughs> he used his friend as bait to lure me out, even though I already killed his friend. That's funny. Yeah, so far, super awesome. Very much enjoying this. This is super fun, dude. And I hit level 4, which means I can now visit Hotlantis. Which means I'll stop and do that. Hey, load up, congrats! Did you know you can use the silver Sheldon lenses you got on a shiny new weapon? Well, you can. Head to the square and check out the Ammonites. Happy shopping! And. Pardon the interruption, but we're picking up a pretty fresh buy from you lately. Do you know that there are a few shops around here with gear that can help you out? I'm talking clothes, shoes, headwear, and even new weapons. In a general store, too. Check them out and tell them this this, endow this, this, this embodied voice sent you. No problem, dude. I'll do that in just a second. Does Judd have something to say to me? Meow, yeah, make sure you visit Ammonites after you level up and make new st stuff in stock. Meow, yeah, leveling up earns you a Selden license, which will let you buy even more weapons. Oh yeah? Alright, well let's do that. Let's go talk to Sheldon. See what he's got. Then we'll end this video and we'll continue more. Hello, hello, let me guess. You're looking for some new weapons? You come to the right place. Our weapons come in sets. A main weapon, a sub weapon, and yes, a special weapon. Sound complicated? Don't fret. You can always press Y to try out my produce products before buying. Now then, you do know that you'll need to exchange Sheldon license to walk around here with something shiny new, right? You can get shell by battling and leveling up, or even just developing your skills by using a particular weapon a lot. 
please report that my already white section has widened further yet. Uh, take a look, I insist. Aha, uh -huh, you're ready to wield the spider shot. The spider shot is beloved for its easy handling and high potential. This is the latest model of the go to weapon. Here with section bombs, you have a wonderful, uh, stable loadout that allows you to respond to whatever enemy throws at you. And yes, let's not forget the Trizuka special. Let one off at, at uh, let one off the leash at the right moment, I guarantee you, poor, won't forget. Um, is this set a little basic? Yes, basically one of the best setups you can have. Master the fundamentals, you become a force to be reckoned with. That's not all, you've also ready to get for the spot roller. Alright, so he's gonna tell me about everything I can learn. I am gonna try all these. Spot roller also has blood roller. Charger has the vacuum, I believe. Okay. I wanna get good with snipers, that's for sure. Slosher has tri Zuka, or no, that's tri missile. Spot Dwellies has the crab. So I definitely wanna try that. Blaster has auto bomb and the big bubble. And the heavy splatling has the wave breaker. And Octoburst has the zip caster. And the tri stringer. I'm so excited to share this new weapon tech with you. Behold the tri stringer, a stringer type weapon that fires three directions at once. Press ZR while standing or running, and fire the ink will fire horizontally. Press ZR while jumping for a shot that's concentrated vertically. The flexibility is unparalleled, and that's not even the best part. You can hold down ZR to charge a shot. The ink will fly farther and explode if it hits a wall or the floor. I go all day about the stringers, but I should mention that the Toxic Mist sub is great for keeping enemies at bay, or at least slowing them down. And it has color roll 1.5, or 5.1. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I just kept pressing B so I can um, move on from him talking so much. Alright, um, we are gonna try out all the weapons, we're just gonna, well we only have three of these, so, I need to hit level 5 for these, Aerospray, Splat Burl, Splatana, I do want to try that, and Zapper has the Tacticooler, which I want to try, the Dwali Squelchers, I'm gonna try every weapon, and hopefully I'm good with all of them, Jet Squelchers all the way over here, dude, Angle Shooter and Ink Back. Oh, I got Ryan for Jet Squelcher, I know that for sure. Are there other variations of Jet Squelcher, or not yet? Only up to level 30 so far? I know they'll add more later, but... Right now, we got that at level 4. So, we got three tickets. What am I gonna buy, or am I gonna save up for next? I do gotta try this Patana. That's the Ultra Stamp. I don't care for Ultra Stamp like that, but I do gotta try it at some point. Let's see, what am I gonna save for? Level 6. I, I guess I'm going to save up for the Tacticooler. That's the, gonna be the, the next thing I kind of save up mostly for. Since I can technically buy all these right now if I wish. I think first I'm going to buy the Stringer. I definitely want to try the Stringer. We'll equip it now. And I'll try... Splatter shot. Which one has this has ink back, splat charger, slosher, dwallies has crab tank. I think I'll try a dwally too. I'll try a dwally in another video. So I'll try those soon. When first we're gonna try the um the stringer. So can we pick up any new clothing now? Finally that we're level four freshness. Yo, welcome to not Cartor. Whoa, you're pretty fresh, huh? So, um, we sell stuff that you wear on your head, you know, like hats and, uh, other head-related gear. Oh, but they're just not regular hats, I always forget this part. They got, like, uh, gear abilities. I think those help you in battle. I don't know too much, though. I just work here. You should probably just press ZL at some point. Alright, so we got Last Just Effort, Ink Recovery, Special Saver, Quick Respond, Ink Recovery, and Tenacity. Well, I already have some that's two Ink Recoveries on, so I don't think I need another Ink Recovery. So, I guess in terms of, like, White headband and I wait. Don't I already have these? Am I not wearing these right now? I'm pretty sure I'm wearing these right now, literally. But um, I already have two ink recovery headphones or uh, yeah, headset. So I think I'll hold off on that for now. What kind of clothing do we got? Ah, you are here. Good. Welcome to Man of Wardrobe. I see that you're a fresh and fashionable person, so I will allow you to shop here. However, you must respect the merchandise. Filthy hands are a lifetime ban. Now then, surely you are aware of the gear booties, yes? These can help you in battles. 
Do you wish to sustain the same level of knowledge as me? Then press the yell. Alright, special power up, sub power up, run speed, haunt, quick respawn, ink saver sub. I kind of want ink saver sub. I kind of want special power, I guess, pirate stripe team. Let's get this, because I need ink saver sub. We'll equip it now. And we'll, we'll hold on for that for now. Next, we got shoes. Come in, come in. Welcome to Crush Station. Oh, you're looking fresh today, but you could look even fresher with something new, something new on your feet. Am I right? Of course I am. You know about gear abilities, right? They make the freshest kicks even fresher, so you can play as good as you look. Maybe even better. Nah. Um. <laughs> anyway. Press the yell if you want to know more about them. If not, keep shopping. Special power up, Ink Saber Main. I kind of want Ink Saber Main for sure. Intensify action. I kind of need that too. I want to I wanna learn how to squid roll and everything better too. Some red high horses. That's Ink Saber Main. I don't think I'll buy that. I'll equip it now. See if I can get something good on it. And then I'll buy pink dadfoot sandals. Okay. Uh. I think I'll wait to buy those. I'll buy those eventually, I'm sure. And general. What do you got here in general? Oh, hey, welcome to Hotlantis. I don't really work here, but you can shop around and, and I'll sell you stuff. Don't ask me what to do with any of it. Put it on your locker, I guess. It's all pretty random, you'll see. Uh, your locker is in the locker room. Duh, you can go look at, that, at it later. If there's anything in there, I guess it's yours by default. Oh, I'm supposed to give you one of these. It's a catalog. You got a catalog. Earn catalog points in battle or on the job to get your hands on incredible items. Do you do battles and workshops at Grisco and stuff? I guess you got catalog points for doing things like that. <clears throat> and then every time your catalog goes up, you get a prize. And I get to dig through all the stuff to find it and give it to you. Yay. Anyway, let's get to the let's get the first one out of the way right now. Your very first prize, cherish it. Is that a battle plate? I'll look at that now. Okay, I'll get you. Okay, I'll let you get back to shopping or whatever. Large box, small inkproof box, concentrated detergent, traffic cone, fish skeleton P character. Volley volley panic. Um I want this. Cool, thanks. I, I hope your lock is staying really, really fresh or something. Let's see. And I'll buy this. Wait, yeah, this one. Alright, I think that's all I want from you. Is that the last uh, thing I need to look at? Cool, alright. Alright, so next, where's my gear? Let's look at our gear. Alright, so next time we're, we play, we're gonna do Tri Stringer. I'm very excited for that. We got, yeah, so the, we already have the Cephalopods. I don't know if the other thing we could have bought was more Cephalopods, but we already have double ink recovery on that, which is good. This one has the, the, um, I'm sorry. The, um, there is Intensify Action. So I'm good. I'm glad we have that. So that's gonna be useful with Quick Respawn, I'm sure. But we're gonna grind Ink Saber Sub. And then this one, we have Special Saber and Sub Power Up. That could be useful. But we're gonna use Ink Saber Main and try to get something good on that. So hopefully that works too. We still got the flip out. Alright, we're gonna try the Stringer. Very excited for that. Alright, so yeah. Good first video, very much liking the game so far. Let's see how far we can go. Because this, this game is going to take a lot of my life, I can already tell. On top of all the content I got to make in the future, this is going to be a big portion of it. So, if you guys are liking this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the YouTube. Make sure you like the videos. Tell me more what, what you guys think about the game in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later with more Splatoon 3 content. Alright, you guys take it easy.